Hey guys, welcome. We're going to be starting a new fall declutter series right here, right now. So I asked you guys on Twitter if you want to see this and everyone said yes. So here we are. I was going to do this whether I filmed it or not. Um, the first time I did one of these series was back in 2012. So it's been a few years. And what I learned from doing that the first time around was that it's more about maintenance. There's always going to be things that end up not working out for you that you try out and it just like doesn't fit right. If it's clothing or your, your style changes or your size changes or whatever it may be. Same with makeup, you know, as far as doing videos and stuff, it's nice to try out items and share them with you guys. But then sometimes I end up with items that just didn't work out and it's time to kind of cull through everything and make sure that I only have what I absolutely love. So that's always my goal is balance and to just own what you love. I'm not a minimalist and my goal is not to live in an empty house. I don't like that look. I, I like to have certain things and there's certain things I feel like you can never have too much of like crystals, gemstones, and yoga pants. So this is our main project today. We're gonna to be working on decluttering um, the entire wardrobe, getting it organized in the dresser so the dresser is currently empty, and also organizing the garment rack up here. All right guys, so a bunch of the items that are right on top, I know that those are ones I'm keeping. So I'm just gonna grab my hangers now and start hanging those up. Okay guys, so here's some of the items that are gonna be hanging up on the garment rack, and how I pick out what I want up there is just by the season and the colors that I'm into for that season. So the color palette that I'm currently into for fall are kind of like the dusty mauve mauves, grays, um, light grays, whites, and then I have my faux suede uh, Calvin Klein jacket, and then a couple pair of yoga pants I'll also have up there that happen to fit into the color scheme. And I'll choose items that I wear often, that way they're easily accessible, and I'll also incorporate some pieces that I just want to remember to wear more often. All right, you guys, these, these gotta go. Unfortunately, they're, I mean, they're like super cute Victoria's Secret sports bras, right? Like I love the color, I love everything about them, except I bought them in the wrong freaking size. I bought small and I should have bought medium because now when I try to wear these when I'm working out, they're too tight, they squeeze me too much. So I'm like, oh, dang it. I really, really like these a lot too. Yoga pants are coming out right now. Okay, there's some of these that are like my favorite things ever and I will live in them all winter long like these. These are from Aloe Yoga and they have like snowy trees going up the legs. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. Okay, so those are an absolute keeper. Um, I won't go through all of these right now. I, I mean, I do have to actually. You know what? Oh shoot, here's a pair though. Here's a pair that looks really pretty, but the fit on me just it just isn't good. They're super cute, but at the ankles, they're just a little bit wider. And I don't know about these. I think I need to try these on because I, I tried to wear them for yoga once and I felt like they were a little bit too tight on me. So, you know, you gotta be comfortable when you're working out, right? Like that's kind of a priority. So I don't know. I'm gonna put these in the think about it, try it on pile. Well, actually, think about it, try it on is like right here. Those are for sure. This is like the absolute gotta go. That's think about it, try it on. This is, I love it, oh my God. These are pretty darn awesome here. I really like those. Those are from Rock Salt Apparel on Etsy. Yeah, those are really cool. So those are going on that side. I got a pair of Tiki yoga leggings. I love those. Those are super comfy and they're very lightweight. Definitely keeping those. Ooh, gold sheep. Yes, gold sheeps fit really good. These are the Noli Tree leggings. I really like this pair, the silver pair. The black pair, unfortunately, had a mark on the knee and I didn't realize it until, like you couldn't see it until you got them on. I didn't try them on for like, I don't know, two weeks later when I went to put them on. And um, then I saw the mark on the knee and then it was too late to be able to return them. So I was just kind of stuck with them. I feel like you gotta be really confident in your yoga pants, you know? Cause if you have pairs of pants that you don't feel confident in, it's, it's like life is too short for those, you know, like get, get I kind of feel like I should just like get rid of those right now. Let's just put them over there. Um, these are also tiki and then I've got aloe, the feather ones. This pair has the perforations down the side. What are their, what is their name? Yo yoga Design Lab. Okay, that's right. Um, they originally had yoga mats and then they came out with their yoga leggings with the perforated um, patterns down the side, which are really neat. They're super cozy inside. I can't remember this company's name. Oh, Alter Ego. Right, okay. This had the really cool moon design on it. It's got like a moon and beach design. Like how pretty are those? 
Aren't those cool? I think we have one more pair of Lululemon. There we go, last black pair. I don't know, I'll probably leave it up to you guys. If anyone wants access to any of the stuff I'm gonna be getting rid of, then let me know and I will do like a little online garage sale or something, like a garage sale page on my website and just sell things off like super cheap. Um, or if no one's interested, then I'll just, I'll just do a garage sale here at my house. Um, so yeah, either way. Okay, I'm gonna try these on. We'll see how they fit. All right, you guys, these are the Mika Yoga Wear leggings, and they're too tight. Yeah, I can feel them right now. These are actually small medium, but they just run extra uh, like compression fit, which is a little too tight for my taste. I like to have them, I like a lot of comfort. Um, so these are just a little bit too snug for me. Okay, you guys, here's the other pair of yoga leggings that I wanted to try on again. Um, I think I was getting these mixed up with a different pair that were more compression fit, but no, these are super like lightweight, a lot of flex to the fabric. They're really, really comfortable. These are the Love Zuby leggings. So I'm, okay, yeah, these are definitely keepers. So this pair has just a basic fold right now, and I'm just gonna fold it in thirds. So fold it once towards the center, and then once more. So it's kind of like it's rolled, but it's a lot faster than like rolling the whole leg up, right? Okay, so fold. Hold. And then we'll do the little roll, which is really just two folds. All right, guys, so I have the colors organized on this side. So those are all rolled. And then I have the black and kind of neutrals on that side. And then my light colors in the center. I've got three pair of white yoga leggings, all different styles here in the center. Those were too thick to be able to roll very well. They were just too bulky. So I just decided to go ahead and fold those since I had enough space in the center. Okay, next up are shorts. I live in denim shorts. So let's say I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven pair of shorts. I wear these every single day. They're a staple and I don't plan on getting rid of any of them. I will wear my jean shorts until they're like holy and falling apart. Um, okay, so all of these are going to be going down here in the second drawer. I'll leave my shorts folded like this for now, just kind of taking up the whole drawer. I could consolidate them over onto one side when I get a pair of jeans. I do plan on getting at least a couple pair of skinny jeans sometime this fall because it will be getting colder here. Now that I'm on the mainland, I get to wear pants. In Hawaii, I almost never wear pants. It was like shorts and bikinis and tank tops every day. So yeah, I'm going to be keeping my eye out for some skinny jeans and those will probably end up sharing a drawer. So this will be my all all denim drawer. Okay, so the next one, let's move on to this one on the bottom here. All right, these are just folded. I'm just gonna stack them in here. Sweatshirts and sweaters. All right, so I'll just have two stacks of sweaters and sweatshirts. That drawer is done. All right, guys, next up are graphic tees, and I'm not gonna be getting rid of any of these because I wear every single one of these all the time. For tees and tanks, I'll just do a basic fold. So just fold that side down and then this side. And then once you get to this point, then you can determine you know, how you wanna fold it from there, just as long as the graphic part stands out. So that way you know which one you're grabbing when you're grabbing out of your drawer. So for this one, I'll probably fold three times. One, two, three. Okay, graphic tees are gonna go in this top drawer and I'll put the ones I wear most towards the front. So that would be like my Tom Petty, the rock and roll ones, Tom Petty, Aerosmith. Um, I have this whiskey one and then my, uh, my Star Wars Harrison Ford one uh, with Han Solo. And then let's see, we'll put these on this side. Oh, well actually this one I wear a lot too. That one is another Chaser brand. Oh, the rock and roll ones and the whiskey, those are all Chaser brand and same with the uh, Pink Floyd. Dark Side of the Moon. But yeah, Chaser Brand's one of my favorites for all the cool graphic tees and rocker tees. All right, that drawer's done. This drawer, I'm gonna have my tanks, and I fold those pretty much the same way as the other tops. So I just have, you know, I just fold them regular like that, right? And then just fold them again, and then just once more. And so it's sort of like, you know, sort of like folded rolled. It's just faster than rolling, so that's why I just do it that way. And then the last drawer on this side, I'm gonna put all my tech tops. So these are like long sleeve, um, you know, quarter zips. I've got some Nikes, Patagonia. Um, this is like a kind of a lightweight fleece. So I just fold these long ways, that way I can have two sets in here or two stacks. One good thing about going over your clothes, you know, going through them every so often is you get to see what you're going for. Like what sort of colors are working for you, what you like, what colors you might have 
too many of or you know have plenty of and what you might wish you had more of so i wish i had more neutral tech tops and not so many blue ones i like the blue obviously i've got like five blue tech tops but i wish i had more neutral so now i know okay don't purchase any more blue go for another color go for neutral go for something else uh, so it just kind of helps keep you in touch with everything that you have you know so nothing gets pushed to the back of your drawers or closet and you forget about it um, or you end up purchasing another one too similar to it right okay so that drawer is all done and then on this side in the two top drawers i put bras in the very top drawer and i just have them laying you know just flat all the way to the back and then underwear same thing so i just have them laying in there flat like you know how they do at victoria's secret it's just easy to pull them out you know if you wanted to do like the whole drawer divider thing you could definitely do that and like roll them i'm i'm just not into like rolling and folding underwear though so yeah just like throw them in there Okay guys, we cleaned out one entire suitcase. We've got one more that I'm going through right now. So this is Amiga sports bra and then the shorts. This is their Nebula pattern. And at first I really liked it. And then I don't know what happened. I just like quit liking it. You know how that goes. Sometimes you're into something and then you just change or you grow or you get into other things, right? So I don't want to keep these either because yeah, I just don't feel the best when I'm wearing them. So anyway, okay, both of those are going to be going over there in that pile. And then I have one set of leg warmers from Mika. These are actually really nice. I like that they have the, the open heel, you know, the stirrup. Um, so I'm definitely going to keep those. This drawer is just kind of temporary right now. I have bikinis in here, which I already went through my bikinis before I moved. So I've got uh, like five five sets of bikinis right now. And then I've got some accessories, you know, beanies and socks. And let's see. What, oh, I was going to put my leg warmers in there. I showed you guys these holographic leggings before, but you know what? They're probably not going to pick up. Oh, there we go. Oh, there. Oh, now you can see them. Yes. Okay. Got to get in the light there. Look at those. Those are fun, right? Those are not yoga leggings. Those are just regular leggings. Um, so I've got two pair. Wait. Well, we have these are the mermaid leggings. Look at those holographic mermaid leggings. And then I think they call these the flash bulbs. So it's like uh, they're like silvery white. And then they have the rainbow, the really soft, glowy rainbow look to it. I have two other pair of leggings that I didn't get to show you guys yet. Um, these are actually a pair of capris. And I don't really wear capris. I don't know. I like full length leggings. Um, so these were sent to me from the brand workshop. And I thought they were really cute. You know, they're pretty, but I just don't gravitate towards them. So I figured those will be like a, a giveaway or something if somebody wants them. And then the Swiss Alps leggings. I ordered on Etsy and the woman hand makes them. She has her own fabric printed up and everything. I think she's located in Germany, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna try these on though really quick because for some reason I wasn't gravitating towards wearing them. Okay, I just tried these on again. I remembered what it was. It was the color. I feel like it just kind of clashes with my skin tone and I just never really felt that good wearing them. So I am gonna go ahead and let go of these. They're almost like brand new though and they look so pretty on camera. I love the snowy mountains and everything, but you know what? Yeah, if they're not gonna get worn, then there's no use in keeping them, right? I'd rather have someone else be able to wear them and enjoy them. So I'm gonna put those in that pile there. Okay, sports bras, I do really like these, but I'm kind of waiting to replace them because they're getting worn out now. These are kind of some old Victoria's Secret ones I've had for a while. And then I've got um, a couple of other green and white Victoria's Secret ones. Um, this is a Noli Yoga. And then the crisscross one is Mika Yoga Wear. So all of those I'm keeping, including these, and I'll go and put those in this bottom drawer here. I found three more shirts in that other suitcase. And so I just scooted my tank tops over and I'm just gonna slip them right in next to them. And I just folded them because these are more delicate and I didn't want to roll them. So I think that'll be fine for now. All right guys, the dresser is completely organized. So we're all done with that part. Um, I've got everything up on the garment rack that I'm probably gonna have out for this season. The suitcases are both completely empty now. And I'm gonna be getting rid of these two because these Michael and I only purchased for the move. Um, it was literally just to be able to pack stuff in and bring on the plane with us because uh, it just worked out cheaper that way to bring extra luggage. Even if we're traveling for a long period of time, we never bring this amount of luggage with us. Okay, so those I'm gonna be selling. I'll go ahead and close up the drawers here. As far as what I'm gonna be doing with the items, cause I know I usually get questions about that on these kind of videos, you know, declutter videos, you know, what are you, what are you gonna be doing with the stuff that you're getting rid of? So nothing goes to waste. In the past, I've always donated or had a garage sale, usually combination of the both. 
Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing that this time around. I figured I would kind of put the ball in your guys' court. If we're going through these videos and you guys see stuff that you would be interested in, let me know and I can always do like a combination of a blog sale um, and like a bunch of giveaways or something. I don't know. We can figure out something to do online. Um, that way I can make some of the items accessible to you guys too. Or I can just donate and have a garage sale like I've done in the past. So yeah, I figured I'd just put that ball in your guys' court um, just because there's some items that are really nice and they're like new, you know? So I'm like, okay, well, what do I do with this? It's not working for me, but I want it to work with somebody else. So I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut this video now and we're gonna move on to accessories and makeup I think will be next.